And no, I'm not going to start going on podcasts. Kathy can keep doing that. That's fine. Let Kathy do what Kathy wants to do. I don't have to follow in her footsteps. I speak out on my channel. I speak out in my books. And no matter how many times y'all say you have proven things, you haven't proven anything because the things that y'all have supposedly proven, I easily prove are lies. Like the other day, y'all were all over me because Adonis Paul proved that there was a trailer on my grandmother's property after she passed away and that I lived in it. And I was so easily able to prove that that was not the case. That the trailer had been torn down years before and I was living in a trailer a mile down the road that did not belong to my grandmother. Now, why does this matter? Y'all are saying, well, that's a straw man argument. Yes, you were in a trailer. That's all that matters. No, 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 no. Because the location of the trailer is extremely important. If there was a trailer on my grandmother's land, and my grandmother's land was left to me, as they said it was, that would have given me a home to live in. Instead, the trailer belonged to somebody else on somebody else's property a mile away who was allowing me to stay there, but it was not my home. Meanwhile, my family is still telling me that property is mine. I can do whatever I want with it. And I have people trying to buy it who are talking to lawyers who can't get a hold of the deed because it was locked in a trust. And my family would not respond to any communication from lawyers about, unre about releasing that trust. Y'all want to keep talking. It's, it's me going on the talk shows wouldn't help because they would only harass me and torment me and terrorize me and twist my words around until they made me cry and then once they've made me a crazy person by twisting my words and attacking me they can do whatever they want and be believed because I'm crazy so obviously everything I'm saying is a lie I get overwhelmed easily I get upset easily that doesn't mean I'm a liar you can twist people's words around to make them say whatever you want to say. It doesn't mean you're telling the truth. For five years, I have been saying there was a will. I was left in it. The family decided not to read it. And instead, I was left homeless. I have shown multiple times that that's the truth. And what do y'all keep saying? There was no will. There was no will. Kathy says that there was no will, so there was no will, even though you have proven that there was a will. And then you back talk and say, well, maybe there was a will. You should have figured out how to have it read. No, the family was supposed to read the will. That's what happens when somebody passes away. I was the only person left in it. That doesn't mean I should have been the only person that had to pay the probate lawyer to get it read. Somebody in the family should have had a copy of that will so that we didn't have to spend $10,000 going to a lawyer. That person was my grandmother. There was three copies in the condo. There was one in her bedroom closet. There was one in the family Bible. And there was one in the safe. Kathy destroyed all three of those copies. So that the only way anybody could read the will would be to t pay a probate lawyer the $10,000 to get a copy of it. They knew I didn't have that. And you're saying, well, they gave you $10,000. Yeah. And when I put it in the bank, the bank took some of that to open the account. So I could not have both cashed the check and lived and paid the $10,000 to the probate lawyer to have the will read. How is it possible? I could not have cashed the check and still given the entire $10,000 over to a lawyer because it cost money to cash the check. My family fucked me over. And now they keep going on talk shows to redeem themselves. 
I don't watch the talk shows and I don't plan on going on them to redeem myself. My story is right here on my channel. If I ever find somebody that wants to do an interview me with me that I believe will be fair and unbiased going into the interview, I will happily do an interview. I will never, ever, ever, ever consider doing an interview with JJ Stoner, Daywave Radio, Adonis Paul, Hatman, Virgie, or anybody else who has done interviews with my aunt. They are not unbiased. They are cyber bullies who are trying to have me killed. Why would I go on their show?